Well, what's going on, YouTube world and YouTube tribe? Welcome back to Little Bit Mad Gaming, bringing you some more modernized gameplay. Now, when we last left off, we had Road Dog and um, this guy. So we're gonna see what what they talking about. See how we could progress further. Hey, big news. We got another member of DX coming to help out for a bit at the PC. Hornswoggle? Uh, no. One of the members of the best version of DX, X-Pac. You know, I have to agree that the DX you were a part of was the best one. Damn straight it was. But you know who disagrees? Shawn Michaels. You guys took what they started and made it ten times better. That's what I always say. Anyway, what if when X-Pac is here, we had a match to settle this debate? You, me, and X-Pac against Shawn, Hector, and Chase. That sounds awesome. And if we win, I get to be an honorary member of DX? Let's not go crazy. <laughs> I'm going up against Shawn Michaels, Hector, and Chase. Get up, Michaels. Oh, nice. That I don't know. X Park.
Uh, Raw dogs, where well, you got team up with him against Sean and the other two dudes. I did, but I lost. Cause the dude hit his finisher right before I could um. Why? Yeah, and the dude hit his right before I could hit mine. Yes, sir. Won the match. Pan Chase. Got one for the good guys. Battle of DX. No, I tell you, and I said it was bit in the time I was. No, uh. The gyms might be making their way down there soon to everybody at your training class. PC showcase. Okay, I gotta do this. Let's go to NXT. Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's yeah. seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. 
All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. Everything else like if what? you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. By yeah, I've been on social media. I haven't one of gotten on new objectives. We already know how you do against the other guys here. So we wanted to give you a new challenge. He's on the side, it's on Neil. So, who will I face? Well, the options are. Yeah, I, I told him, no, I ain't want to do this. Shinsuke his, uh, Nakamura from SmackDown. His or thing. The toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep well, in unless mind, you said you no told him choice. no. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs, potentially open more doors. But if you lost, the risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life altering decision, what's it going to be? I want to take on the so-called king of strong style. Give me Nakamura. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait, we almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him? Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well. We figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, no, they, I'm no. talking their road all I the think I'm going to go with my custom look. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I, I, got, I got all the social media and stuff. Like, ain't nothing for me to go and click on, but you... I think I could go back to him. Oh no, you can't. No, I think because I told him no. Was he in the DMs? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, go back. Okay. Uh I got how many attribute I got seventeen attribute points. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. Wow. That's not what I've heard. Who are you gonna face anyway? taking on the mascot I'll dominate him and show the GMs what they've been missing out on he's a uh, uh, main uh, so you're not even main card one of the like superstars the show. <laughs> sounds he's like a former WWE champion who's in front of the GMs <laughs> it's called being smart and putting yeah, myself it, in the it's best a, position like only Larkin, Sensuke Nakamura, and Drew McIntyre. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. But man, the dream got crazy. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together, work out together, eat together. 
Whoa. Chase, you're a little bit of a fanboy right now. We could do a lot of things together. Chase is a little bit of a fanboy and it was creeping me out. All right, well, good luck in your talking match. talking about a lot of things we I'm could do together. I'm going to go buy a new suit to impress the sus. GMs, specifically <laughs> Mandy Rose. If our real-life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's going to be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not literally like pyro or anything. I mean like the romantic kind. <laughs> Chase said he wants... Mandy Rose. Yeah, I get it, Chase. Good luck with all that. Get my hype. Don't get so hype, but get my hopes up. Cause they not coming here to scout uh to scout me, they coming to scout him. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Oh shit. Take that, Mr. Nakamura. Huh? More. Oh my god. He just hit me with a Sensuke kick. It almost looked like a modified Sen Oh, Sinkaska. Nope. Oh. Oh, oh my god. I'm already beat up. Yeah. They main superstars. Uh, oh my god. He just beat the heck out of me. It stunned me instead. Get out of me. Get out of there. Yeah. And make it go faster. Just pressing all of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Drew McIntyre big. I heard he said, yeah, you tell me now. Yeah, yeah remember that's he's a former head world champion. He's gonna have some he's gonna have some power on him. Oh Lord. He said he messed up. <laughs> that ain't his style. One, two. Dang. No, oh, I went for the high risk move. No, He's, did he hit me with the Sinskoska? Oh, oh. Come on, get up. You gotta get up. No, oh.
Oh. They didn't give me a prompt to, uh, what you gonna call it? Get off me. Are you serious? Nope, I'm gonna let you beat me, Sinsuke Nakamura. You're gonna have to work for your your win. Oh god, he said I just about to hit you with the finisher again. Oh, <laughs> I do it. One, two, three. What well, I was hitting a resilient thing. Oh my god, huh? Real Regal. I know you didn't get the results you desired against Nakamura, but there's no shame in that, and you still showed heaps of potential. With that being said, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to sign with NXT. I look forward to dominating NXT and using it as a stepping stone to bigger things. A bit pompous, are you? I have a feeling you might be singing a different tune after you see what NXT is all about. In fact, with that attitude, you might become the stone that gets stepped on. I look forward to proving you wrong. So no offer from Raw, huh? It would have taken a lot more than what you did today to get a raw contract. Like maybe if you had beaten Drew McIntyre, but you didn't even have the guts to face him. So no, no offer from Raw. Well, maybe we'll cross paths some other time. Yeah, maybe. Now, if you don't mind, I have other business to attend to. It's, n it's not bad. They NST is this is this crap too. Is that where you're going to? You're looking at the blue brand's newest superstar. It took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm going to show oh, the, the WWE dude universe Jay going to SmackDown. The, the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the paragon. <laughs> Jay going to SmackDown. Good for you. I'm going to do the same thing in NXT, but without the lame nickname. Whatever. I'd say I'll be watching on NXT, but I'll be too busy dominating SmackDown. But if you ever make it out of the minors, let me know. NXT. Hey, I heard you're going to NXT. Looks like I'll have some company. You sign with NXT too? Yeah, I just spoke with Regal. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. We should look out for each other there. <laughs> That's a good idea. Especially considering we might have targets on our backs coming in as the new guys. Uh, I think, I forgot who it was. I know uh, on SmackDown it's Roman Reigns. I forgot who they said the champion on Raw. Look forward to competing with you there. Yeah, he's the Congrats, champion on, on SmackDown. You too. Hold on, I think I can find out in a minute. I'm gonna find out who. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Oh, no. Comparing yourself to us isn't going to help. Your time will come. Yeah, Trust me. he didn't get signed. You just need to take I'm, a hard I'm, look just, I'm on that part right now. See what you can change to capitalize on the next opportunity that comes along. That's Bro. 
I think you've been spending too much time on social media. There are no conspiracy theories in play here. All right. But that is exactly what you would say if there was one. Chase, keep your head up and continue to work hard. I gotta go clean up my locker. That's not code, is it? Like you're not trying to tell me there's a conspiracy theory against me? That I'm being locked down? Wink twice if I'm onto something. Chase? Chase it went crazy. You think it's a conspiracy theory? <laughs> Congrats on getting signed to NXT. I think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks for saying that. Especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. <laughs> and there you see the newest addition to NXT. I look, my first day on NXT. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Oh, nobody asked you, but I have to agree. This guy is the definition of superstar. Ooh. And he just, he said, he said, he just told me whatever. I'll watch you on it. I, I can't say. Big leaves while I'm, in, I'm still in the developmental territory. Who the heck is Mark Thompson? Who's these people in NXT? <laughs> I don't know who the Mark Thompson is. Why you got Bret Hart shirt on? Can I bother you for a selfie? I'd be so thankful. I asked Raul Mendoza when he was through here earlier, and he ignored me. Not that I'm bitter about it. And not that I'd love you to take him down. Oh, he a rain, fan. But if you wanted to, I wouldn't mind it. In real life, people don't. They, people like NST more, or they used to like NST more than the main show. The following. Mendoza is here, an impressive talent with a bit of an attitude. It's the right attitude. If oh, I got to go up against Mendoza. And his opponent representing Legado del Fantasma from Cordoba, Veracruz, Mexico. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Raul Mendoza. Raul Mendoza. And you are looking at one of the most unshakable superstars on the roster. is what will make him such a threat in this matchup. And he's facing Raul Mendoza, the technical assassin representing Legado del Fantasma. Mendoza is just as mean as they come. When the intimidating Legado del Fantasma... They said me and Hector going to... Uh, he was like, oh, you going to NST too, huh? He said, we need to watch each other's backs. I don't have you walking funny. I just had to talk to this fan who wanted like a picture with me and he said he wanted me to beat uh, this dude on face of Mendoza because he was being a, uh, basically a boho to him. Oh my god. <laughs> I like being on NST because it gives me more time to develop before I get up to the main roster. Here we go. He's looking completely locked as oh. he finds his footing. Off the top. Catches nothing but I actually wanted to go to NST first. I wanted 
I wanted to do like how they do. That's how they do for real. In real life, they go through NST, then they come to the main roster. The only people that goes directly to the main roster when they knew is one of those people that was like already a big name in the other companies and stuff. Oh my, if you guys can hear what he's saying, he is like, he is sitting, he, he's up here bragging, and this, hey, hey guys, I'm not, you're going to hear this, and he's going to hear this when he watched this video, he didn't, he didn't want to play this game, he, he didn't even want to play this game. Oh, this is not good at all, the pendulum. How blue try, my, dub, the dude I be playing Call of Duty with. That's who I'm. He 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 did not want to play this wrestling game. Now he's over there having fun with it, and now he's oh, it, to the point where he's bragging because he's got he got to go to uh, SmackDown while I had to go to NXT. How did I miss that? I'm not in this bit. I'm making fun of you how you enjoying the game and you thought you wasn't. I didn't quit, Matt. I'm playing other stuff because this is, is my obligation to play these games. As a YouTuber, I must play these other games. Won my match though, baby. I won my match. Here is your winner, Bad Boy Batista. He really got the best match on NFC in either male or female. My guys. You can tell this guy was fired up from the moment the bell rang. He definitely had the motivational advantage in this match. Uh, selfie dream shatter. Oh, I got 25 upgrade points. I just gained 6,963 and five. Uh huh. Plus 25. And attribute uh, bonus five plus to the leg power. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> each show each show brand you are on offers different locations to travel to each location will have its own set of daily superstars and other um, personnel to talk to and receive storylines from okay Locations that have new storylines to interact with will have a green um, badge on top of them. Be sure to always check the old locations. I could go to the GM office. Oh, you could talk to Real Regal. I could talk to Corey. What are Corey talking about? I know you already have a match tonight, but I'm desperate. Some WWE execs are coming from LA, but their flight is delayed. They won't get here until after the NXT taping is over. Wanna be a team player and put on a non-televised match for the execs and audience after the show? Oh yeah. I got another 25 up plus upgrade points. Uh, 
Okay, let's see what's on social media. Uh, I get my first. I'm getting. I'm having a. He just put me in a number one contenders, um, triple threat match for the North American Championship. <laughs> so if I win the trip, if I win the triple threat, I get to face Damian Priest for the title. Yeah. Suck it, Mark. Are you facing someone for a championship or a potential championship match yet? No. No time for a grappling lesson. Well, this is more than a lesson, Cole. This is a master. Oh, I got to go up against Timothy Thatcher. Who's the other person? Wow, feast your eyes. <laughs> a one of a kind Croatian Titan ready to stomp out the My boy, uh, and Dominic from Kingsborough, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic. I like the I like that M Bison gear he got on too. That's cool. Three talented superstars all have a chance to earn an opportunity to take on Damian Priest for his NXT North American Championship if they can just win tonight's triple threat. You make it sound so easy, Cole, but it's going to be anything but when you're talking about going up against Timothy Thatcher and Dominic Dijakovic. Their opponent will need to dig deep to beat two NXT studs of their caliber. What's coming next? Stomping down. Caught square by the Haymaker. Splash! Effective. <laughs> Buckle up. This is gonna hurt. Still going. Endless blows. I wish I was you. Oh, Thatcher got caught with a reversal. Sleeper slam. Looking for the quick pin. Into the ring now. He kicks out before two. Solid one count, but not there yet. Close line. What impact. He's back into the ring. Shot connects. Oh, what a right. Man, that puts an attitude behind it. Drew Gulak. Did you hear that impact? He a uh, former NST star. He on SmackDown. Oh, no, I think he... he is he on SmackDown or he on Raw? Well, what, what are he doing? Turnbuckle. Close line in the corner. 
He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Ooh. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, enough already. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Gets inside the ring. Oh. Close line. <laughs> Snapping the neck. He'll take things into the ring. No. Oh, oh. And up the turn. What you gonna do, what? From way up. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Oh. Now he's been put on the defensive. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. The Kena Clutch! I have no idea. I know the King of Strong Style is Sensei Nakamura. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here is your winner, bad boy. Yes, sir. You see that, guys? Hollywood Tribe. I just won. I am one step closer to becoming your new North American. See, I almost forgot what it was. Your new NXT North American champion. And then NXT champion. You could bet that sucker. They should let me cut a promo and be like, hey, Damian Priest, you're not going to be North American champion for long because the Byron is coming for you. I'm going to take that North American championship and I'm going to become the greatest North American champion of all time. I see there's a new challenger for my NXT North American title. Let's fix that. Offering 50k bounty to take out <laughs> at Byron L. <laughs> I'll even provide equipment to get the job done. Remember my old uh, nice stick? <laughs> I can use 50k. Oh man, they about to try to take me out. Uh, hold on. Okay, I just wanted to see what that all about. So I have to go to Damien Priest to advance the story. Okay. Um, 
I guess we got time for one more. See what we do before I end this. Last week, you earned the opportunity to face Damian Priest for his North American Championship. However, after the match, Priest announced a $50,000 bounty for anyone who could successfully take you out. How have you been dealing with this situation? Look, it's clear that Damian Priest knows he can't beat me. So this was the only solution he could come up with to hold on to his championship. But it's not going to work. So far, no one's even attempted to cash in on the bounty. And that tells me that just like Priest, the rest of the NXT locker room wants no part of me. So it's been business as usual. If anyone does want to try to cash in, I'll consider it a warm up for Priest. And if not, I'm ready either way. You hear that Priest? I'm coming for you sucker. <laughs> Uh, they, they should let me cut the promo. Got the mic on. Damien Priest, that bounty that you put on me, you ain't gonna never see that because they are too chicken on NXT. <laughs> oh, I was wrong. No disqualification, no count outs were guaranteed to see a train load of carnage before this one is through. Oh, yeah, this nice. is the type of match where grudges get even uglier. You never know who or what will come out of the woodwork in a battle like this. Well, that's when some outside interference becomes a factor, Corey. We all know that WWE superstars never forget a grudge. Just breaking down the opponent. He's got him scouted. And what a push. All the way up. Backbreaker. Superb technique against Strong. He's yeah. burying elbows in the midsection. Enable the counter. Close line. Gillo, you wanted to fight me, huh? You wanted to fight me? You think you're going to cash in? Oh, ah. Fight his way out. Mm. Yeah. Where you going, huh? Close on. Drop that chair. Stomping. Ouch. Get up, Roderick. Get up, Roderick. You think you can... Oh. Can he take advantage? What a chop. That'll fillet your chest. Come here. Take you over here. Sharp elbows oh, to the body. Let oh. him fight his way out. Yeah. Answering back. Get up. Since you want to claim, since you think you bad and you can claim stuff. Yeah. Strong turns that around. Some good contact by Roderick Strong. Oof. Oh, good night. Sorry. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Gets him with the counter. Get up, Roderick. Come here. 
You coming with me? So boom, what impact. I ain't done with you yet. Get here. Come here. Come here. You wanna fight me, huh? Mm. Oh. No, no, no. Get off me. Had Roderick scouted. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, what? Oh, I had to do something. I didn't know he. He deflects it right back. Close line. You want to fight me, huh, Roger? Snapmare. Well placed kick. Strong battling away the cobwebs. Can he fight back? Uh oh, uh oh. It's a long way up. Right. And a long. <laughs> yes, sir. As it wasn't clear before, it is now. There's a target on your back. <laughs> My target is going to live forever. <laughs> Even in the UK, huh? Uh, Santo Escobar. Cash in on Damian Priest's bounty. This guy can't catch a break. What are you expecting from this superstar tonight, guys? He did say earlier that he's going to attack his opponent. I ain't think I, I forgot to end the video, but okay. So we gonna keep going. Yeah. Big for mercy. And facing him is Santos Escobar, one of the more controversial superstars today. Escobar is obsessed with the legacy of Lucha Libre, but wants to create one on his own terms. No mask, all results. Escobar's creating a new modern tradition. One, he goes for the cover. Kicks out too soon. Carefully measuring. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Worried look on the face of Escobar. Santos has to find an opening and respond. Escobar on the receiving end. Could be what he needed to ignite a rally. And a drop. And Escobar can't create any new tradition if he's taking hits like that. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Taking flight. Boy, splash. Cover, cover. One, two. And still hanging on. He thought he had it. Come on, ref. You know that was three, ref. Get up, Santo. Just as the momentum is against him. Yeah, he has to devise some kind of new strategy here. Trampling the opposition.
Straight off the top rope and just driving the knees into the kidney. Over and over again. And the fallaway slam. The fight being taken, Escobar. Yeah, Santos has run into a roadblock. Oh, that hurt in the chest. Something's about to go either fairly wrong or fairly right. Taking flight. Back on the splash. Shoot, Santos ain't nothing. Oh, he kicked out, huh? There you go, Cole. Be mine, Santos. Feeling like it's over for Santos. Priest, no, you're next. You win that North American title or mine. Barely a moment suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. Damien Priest and he could run for me. That North American title is mine. <laughs> okay. Live forever. Wow, you really must want to face me. I'll be in the ring next week if anyone wants to show you a hundred grand. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, guys, but we're going to end it here because this video is long, too long. I got to do some editing on this video. But if you enjoy this video and how much fun I'm having with this game, then you hit that button right there in the upper right corner for all of my WWE 2K22 videos. And if you enjoy this video so much and want to support the channel, all you got to do is hit that like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification button. Do all those great things because it helps me that you want to see more con content like this. That's how it helps me, helps the channel. And anyways, hit any one of these videos for more of my amazing content, but don't go nowhere because I got some Elder